Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to the monthly Thronebreaker EQ difficulty and we're going to go through all bosses. The first one is going to be a Modo. Now with Modo, the nodes are going to be Brutal Refresher, Explosive Personality, No Hit Mercy, Special Coup d'etat, Inside Out and Piercing Pursuit. Don't worry about it, to put it simply, all you need to do is to bring in a good size champion that can kinda control his powers or anybody with a petrify or wither that should do the trick. You can also bring in uh, you can also bring in human torch that also works. It's just a regular modo fight. If you knock him down he will get a cruelty on him and so just get your petrify and wither up quick to control the power gain and the fight from there and onwards is pretty it's quite simple. One of the nodes will cause Modo to get pierced just like in map 8 uh, alliance quest. All you need to do is to do an intercept and they will be gone as well. And finally the lanes you have to bring in mutant champions with a lot of buffs. My favorite ones are Colossus, Storm, Old Man Logan, Magneto. All of those work. You get all the buffs you knock down they go unblockable and then you get extra furies whenever you will attack the opponent so that works for me um let's move on to the next fight so chapter 1.2 brings in venom the duck as the boss now with venom the duck the nodes are going to be dot 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 icky sticky demigod essence natural armor and genetic code ignore everything else all you need to take care about to bring in an armor break champion I brought in Hercules with Synergy with Captain Mike Infinity War. You can bring in King Groot, you can bring in Angela, you can bring in Cosmic Ghost Rider, any champion that can apply those uh, you know, armor breaks, and you should be good. The laning champs are also Cosmic Champions with armor break, so you can use the same champions for the lanes as well. The more armor breaks you have, the faster you get your Furies and you can do more damage. And there we go, just with Hercules, it was a really quick takedown on Venom the Duck. Now the first annoying fight would be Purgatory on Chapter 2.1. Now with Purgatory, you're gonna have Beast of Burden, Conflictor, Obstinate Charge, Do Not Go Gentle and Bloody Mess. Now what makes this fight difficult is getting a parry. You're not able to get a parry. If you try to get a parry, Conflictor triggers. If you try to get a parry when Conflictor is on cooldown, you get Obstinate Charge, so you have to re-parry. On top of it, there is Do Not Go Gentle Charges, so you have to intercept every now and then or knock down with the Heavy, so you don't have too much of your charges built up when you die. But the good part is there is Bloody Mess, so you need to bring in the champion that can apply leads and that will do extra damage. So if you think about Apocalypse, he's a great counter for this fight because he can look after Conflictor. For obst Obstinate Charge, you can just do a reparry. Some mystic options can be White Tiger, can also be Black Widow Clear Wyan. Uh, Magneto should be a good option as well, that should work. Well, I used um, I used as Baron Zemo because of his permanent bleed, so that worked out for me. And for the lane, you have to bring in your tech champions that can either do an armor break or apply uh, or apply a heal block that will stop the region on the defenders and give you furies. Just a slow fight right here with Baron Zemo. All I'm trying to do is to push Purgatory to throw the SP ones. And meanwhile, the bleed is still there, so it should be taking extra damage. Just getting an SP2 ready. And once I have my sp1 during the route i'm gonna use that and look at those bleeds stack up and uh, from there on was this quite simple fight I'm just gonna wait out the sp2 the difficult part here is controlling the obstinate charge and the conflictor that becomes really annoying after i finish this fight i thought about bringing in apocalypse because apocalypse will deal with conflictor and the heavy attacks will give bleed so he might be a better option in the end from all the other champions but do give it a try i brought in baron zemo thinking about the permanent bleeds she is taking for uh, 144 so that's an easy kill for me and there she goes And then you have a strife now strife here is all about his miss now you see me critical interrupt arc overload micro reflect slow armor and hard knock life now for the counters i would say just bring in champions that can bypass the miss so uh, you can have your red goblin you can have your human torch you can also have your hercules with the sp1 
my favorite one for this fight is going to be an omega sentinel because not only she can apply the tracking debuff but she can also apply the heal block and stop the arc overload so that's going to work other champions that could work here can be your archangel just parry and heavy reduce the ability accuracy and let him neurotoxic to that another one that could work really well here is magneto because magneto uh, will uh, will magnetize him and uh, because of metal champion and then he, the evades the evades will also fail and also the falter will fail along with the miss and one aspire should do the trick and for the laning champions it is going to be for your mystic champs so bring your champions that have easy access to nullify your kushalas your wiccans your long shots your dooms all of them work really well for this lane so on the fight almost down to 19 percent you will notice i have both three all three of the, the buffs applied but i uh, messed up in the end so now i just have to use first a heavy attack so i can switch there we go get to tracking and i'm gonna parry him again and bring him down so yeah one of the best options for this fight is omega sensible And then for chapter 3.1, our new champion Prowler. Now you have to learn how to re-parry because his medium cannot be parried. So you have to learn how to re-parry. Now he's a typical tech champion. His uh, weaknesses lie with his armor. If you remove the armor, he's not, he's not much that can do. And the weakness of his is that if you use champions that are drain immune or anti-miss mechanic, they will bypass or you bypass his armor. All of them work really well. There's also a cheese for this one. You can bring in a Ronin and let him and let Prowler into your block. Let him build up, let him hit into your block and get those armor ups. Let him build up to 8 to 10 and then you can easily just spam SC1 with the Ronin and take out. Otherwise, bring in champions that have uh, armor break and they should be good. So, Medusa, Angela, Cosmic Ghost Rider. All of these work, or you can also go the other route. You can bring in the gallon and let the armor stacks happen, and then you can get through the fight faster. Because the more armor ups are there, the more harvest gallon will build. For the lanes, just bring in your size champions, which either slow or petrify, and that should help you gain more furies and finish off the fight quicker. And the last one is going to be Spider Punk. Again, very simple uh, fight. I think he's more of an attacker this time around. There, the uh, new champions and less defenders and more attackers so for this one the nodes are going to be one of everything evasive maneuver ruptured eardrum dodge souls and i am a root all you need to do is he's weak against champions that have anti evade or purify and you have to learn how to dex the xp1 and using dexterity will give you 10 percent prowess for a big special one the easier uh, with big special ones you know the easier bosses this eq for your lane you will also need skill champions with anti miss so that works out really well so you'll just notice here i brought in a brand zemo because if he tries to apply ruptures those will be purified and after two sp2s he cannot evade as well so baron zemo is also a good option just evade the sp1 and you're good to go so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and you found it helpful make sure to like and subscribe uh, like and subscribe to the channel and leave a comment down below all of that helps me out a lot see you on the next one bye